Put your gardener's gloves on today, folks, because today the deck that we're playing is called Miracle Grow. What is going on, friends? My name is Ike. Welcome to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Hey, everybody, this is the first War of the Spark video coming at you with a really cool deck. I uh, wanted to get some short ones out for you just to get some, get, you, get our feet wet because there are so many cool things going on with this expansion that I am just playing anything and everything that I possibly can. Uh, today we're going to go over a deck called Miracle Grow. I found this on Aetherhub, uh, excuse me, Aetherhub.com. Fantastic website for finding decks of all kinds. Highly recommend it. Y'all go check it out. But with that being said, the deck itself is filled with little, little pieces of uh, instants and sorceries uh, with little guys as well, like the Terramancer or even the, where are you? There you go, Deep Root Champion. It's a very cheap deck. The God Eternal uh, Kefnet is the most expensive card, but as you can as, basically, as you can see, everything else is going to be two mana or less. The way in which this works is very simple. Uh, Deep Root Champion, uh, in combination with either a God Eternal or other types of creatures in general, or Terramander, are able to buff up the Deep Root Champion creating a very large deep root champion very quickly and constant card draw and card renewal with things like the callous dismissal that came to us with war of the spark uh the agur agur of bolus which is a just has been a fantastic card in general um with a couple of decks that i'm running just to be able to grab an instant or sorcery anticipate Open the gates to help with basic lands. Adventurous Impulse to get uh, another creature. Just constant bringing in of more cards into your hand. And of course, Dive Down Curious Obsession to get that early start with uh, Terramander or uh, a Bolas. So it's a very simple deck with the cards that are it's running, but it's actually very fun and can be very entertaining uh, getting a massive Deep Root Champion going on board. Cool. Uh, let's get into some games so we can actually see this in action. I think this is a pretty good start here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and ping ourselves. Put down a Terramander. Next turn, probably, and open the gates uh, in combination here with Adventurous Impulse. I could put down... A, uh, let's just go ahead and... Adventurous Impulse. We'll go ahead and grab that Deep Root Champion. We'll save one mana here for our dive down to protect the Terramander. And we'll go ahead and pass the turn. Okay, good. We'll go ahead and play a forest. Now we only have one blue mana, so we can't really do much. I think the best thing is just to go ahead and play the deep root and hold up a dive down to protect. At the end of their turn, we will opt if they do not try to remove it. Okay. Actually, don't mind that one. The deep root champion is much more dangerous very soon. How this can get a little crazy. Okay, Spellbreaker. We'll go ahead and pass until the end of the turn. Curious Obsession I think is a good combo. There we go. So, we can Adventurous Impulse or open the gate. I think we're going to open the gates purely for the basic land card draw. Grab a blue, an island here. This is going to allow us to Curious Obsession, which will get it up to five. There we go. And we have a dive down now. Good trade. And I think... 
think it's okay to go ahead and play Adventurous Impulse. I probably should have played that before. And we'll go ahead and go into this as well. That's good. Well, in the turn, we'll hold up the dive down. We're in a very good position. This Deep Root Champion is getting quite large. And our opponent does not have a way to answer. Awesome. Let's get into the next game. I believe this is a decent start. Now, we don't have... We don't necessarily have a creature to play down. Um, but I think we have enough recycle to get some things going. I think... I think I'm going to go ahead and just ping my face and adventurous and post. Not what I was looking for. But we'll go ahead and grab it. This breeding pool. I think um, we'll opt twice this next turn. Op will be very uh, optimal. Okay. I think this is a fool. I'm not necessarily worried about that yet. Uh, that's useless to us without a minion. That Terramander will be useful. I think I want to keep it on the odd chance that I get it a Bolus or a Deep Root. Good draw. So we could do a number of things. I think the Callous Dismissal is going to be the best because we'll actually force them to replay the ram. And we also are able to put down a 1-1. One, one. Let's go ahead and Adventurous Impulse as well. In what I was hoping for, but I think that's okay. You have Blink of an Eye uh, available just in case we want to knock their... Ram back into their hand on the following turn. Go ahead and place down the, the hinterland. I think a Terramander here, and I'll go ahead and anticipate as well. I think another dismissal is fine here. And let's go ahead and search for a land to thin out the deck. We'll get a... Uh, well, we will not attack this turn. There are a couple of cards that will cause us to be in a bit of a rough shape. That is one of them. Probably do. Hmm. Let's kick the. I'm gonna use blink of an eye to kick the gatebreaker ram on an attack, and I will kick it so I can draw the card with it as well. Paint. We're looking for the deep root. Yeah, Guild Summit isn't necessarily fantastic, but it's better than having my life taken away from me. Okay, let's go ahead and do Anticipate just in case we can pull off. I'm doing this for the creature body. Okay, and I'll go ahead and Adventurous as well to grab another... Dang it, am I not going to get any creatures from these? Yeah. Play that tent. Uh, this deck is not running a lot of. The it's not running a lot of lands. Uh, I was very surprised that it still works very well without running that many lands. I think it's running 14. 
this is makes me very sad. Very sad. I have to get rid of one. So let's go ahead and put one down. Um, we can go ahead and play open gates. Grab a blue. Um, my hand is completely filled with mana. There's not much I can do. Which is unfortunate. I don't. I can't um, really block this either because the trample is going to completely destroy my face. We haven't drawn our deep root, even though we had we have plenty of good cycle and all that. We just we're not drawn very well, and that's you know sometimes that happens with decks that you're playing um, that are somewhat janky. You don't get uh, the actual draws that you need. Mm hmm. We'll see what happens. Blink of an eye saves us. Does I think what saves us is if I can blink of an eye kick there into Okay, well we'll go on to the next game. I think I actually like this starting hand. I get a Terramander on board quick. I have a dive down to protect it. And all in the back of their mind, they believe I'm playing mono blue. In all reality... Go. This is a much better starting hand. An attack for one. And we'll end the turn. The Simic here definitely threw them off. I love these decks. I can play them. That video should come out shortly as well. But we can go ahead and place this there. We'll remove it from the board. This puts a lot of pressure on them. Okay, we're just gonna they're just gonna replay that same thing. That's fine. A little slow. I will go ahead and play both champions. Um, no, there is a small, small chance they might be playing. They might be playing Kaya's Wrath. And just in case, I'm not going to commit to the board any further than I need. We'll block it just to go ahead and get that uh, process going. I don't think there there was a need there for them to do that whatsoever. Let's uh, go ahead and do the. Uh, no, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the dive down. I'm gonna save the dive down. I'm going a little wide here. Uh, it's quite possible I should have just. Go ahead and just use this now, so I don't have to discard it. The main thing is I'll still have a 5-5 uh, five, five Terramander. This is great. I can go ahead and spend all of that now. I'm pretty darn sure I can just go ahead and cast this first. So let's cast this first. I'm not really worried about the cards in my hand anymore. So that can go right back up there. Um, I'll go ahead and Terramander this one, or, uh, go ahead and adapt that. I will attack with everything except this guy. Awesome. He does have a blocker for my Terramander for next turn. Hopefully he does not play Kyra's Wrath. Okay, that's okay. That's no big deal. Blink of an eye is fantastic. We'll use it to kick. And again, we're not we don't care about cards right now, so we are just going to kick the big one. And GG.
All right, friends, that was the Miracle Grow deck. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to let uh, be notified when I go live. Friends, I hope you all have a good one. Hope you are enjoying the War of the Spark. Uh, and until next time, y'all take care.